giving me the Game of Thrones update. Okay, we're going to do... I'm going to give you a tour of our Disney Curio that we've been... This is our collection from Disney World since 2013, right? 2013. We'll start at the top. This, actually, we got this year. This I can't get that to go. It is so cute. <laughs> Look at Donald. That's cute. Thank you. This frame, we got, I should mention it, because this is a frame that we got at the, it doesn't have a sticker on it anymore, at the outlet store in Orlando, and you can get great deals there. How much percent off do you think that this stuff was? Like 50 to 70 percent off? And a lot of the things were in the stores at the parks. So it isn't all just, you know, older merchandise. Anyway, that's cute. That's from our first trip at Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. And then we went to the Royal Table. And that was great for breakfast. That was a gift my husband got me for Mother's Day. This one? Yes. Hallmark. From Hallmark, yes, that's very cute. When you go to the breakfast at uh, the Royal Table, there's a wishing star on each of the place settings. We saved a couple of them. They have some other things too. There was, don't they do swords for the boys? I don't know. We have all girls. They did um, uh, magic wands, right? For the girls, plastic wands. I think that's what it was. Anyway, we also got this frame from that outlet store. And I just put one of these postcards. I got this postcard, this holographic postcard. First trip. Yeah, from the store on Main Street that we usually sit in front of when we do the parades. Like, you go get a candy or baked good that's close to there, and then there's that art shop. Anyway, they have a lot of um, postcards that are really reasonable, and I got this frame, which is so cute, it that, or here, here's a tag on here. Oh, it doesn't say a price. But we got this at the outlet store as well. So eventually we'll put a picture of us on Splash Mountain in it but for now and then these are the zoom zooms from you know who i actually got these from a friend on instagram she sent those to me she had a giveaway and i won those and they're so cute and those are the only ones that we have so far aren't they we need to get more though so this is our collection of pins. Well, actually, let me do these first because the pins get involved. This was a gift from a friend. This is the Walt Disney Gallery. It's the Harmony Kingdom collection, but it's 101 Dalmatians, and it opens. Kane's Crunchies inside. So it's really cute. We'll keep that there with all their puppies. This is a box that the collectible watch came in, but we liked the box, so we kept it. Reminds me of Fantasmic. And then, okay, on this side, this was a gift from a friend too. It's a small plate, Snow White, and this is from, well, it's just Disney, and she got it at Downtown Disney, I think. It's cute, and I put some jewels next to it. 
And this, my husband always gets this. Whenever we go to Magic Kingdom, Gaston's Tavern, what's the name of the drink? I think it's LeFou's Brew. LeFou's Brew, that's right. And we just keep our extra um, pin backs in here. So we have that there. This is what it looks like. I think you pay like $5 extra for the mug. Is that right? Uh, it's got gas on it. Something like that. Anyway, it's my husband's like alter ego, so. <laughs> okay. So this is our pin collection. It doesn't really. I, I don't know. Like what the deal is. With that, I wonder if I take it off and hold. See what I mean? It's like... All right. These, we made these actually out of, these are both foam boards that we kind of just, they just actually fit perfectly in between here. So they're just, they're like wedged in because of the size matches. And I just covered them with, it's actually um, an old big satin shirt that I found at Goodwill <laughs> and I cut up and put over it and pinned on the back and then you know the pins just can pop right in because it's foam behind. So over here this is my collection my friend gave me this one it's an old vintage Missouri one actually with Cinderella and we live in Missouri and so that's really cute. Um, an S for my initial with Stitch and Maleficent, who is my favorite of the villains. She's so glamorous. And this was actually a gift from a friend as well, um, Lucifer, which is really cool because it has the drawing with it, but I don't know, my camera's not, is having a hard time picking that up. But it has the, um, animator's illustration of Lucifer with it. It's a really cool pin. And then we have Jasmine and the Genie. That is such a good pin. Didn't you trade for this one? Yeah, most of these are traders. My husband is a trading genius. He knows all of the trading in and outs. He's on a mission. So I just kind of tell him what I want, and he takes care of all of that. We have, let's see, my friend also gave me this one. Minnie and Daisy BFFs. And this is a really cute one for Halloween and Boo. That's an older one, too. Um, this is Pluto with a year that's special to us on the flag. Um, a vintage Mickey and Minnie. I love that one, and I love the classic Mickey Mouse. Um, Donald Duck with the, with the Mickey ears hat. That is so cute. All of the Donalds now are so grumpy. I love the happy Donald. This is an old Mickey Mouse, like Mickey Mouse Clubhouse pin. These are my husband's, he's a firefighter, and that's a really, that's a really neat pin. I got that for you for Christmas or something one year, didn't I? Yeah, we didn't trade this. Most of them are traders, though. We did trade for, trade for this, that's, um, Mater. yeah, Mater from Cars, Stitch is a firefighter, the Donald Duck firefighter and then the patriotic Donald Duck. Donald Duck is his favorite so and he likes the happy ones too. This one we you actually got that on a trade too didn't you? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, this is the Vinylmation uh, Everest pin. The Midway um, Toy Story Mania, which is one of our favorite rides, and that was cool. And you got that on a trade too, didn't you? This one's for Future World with Spaceship Earth. Love that, and I love this one. Did you get this on a trade, or did you buy this? Mm, a trade, but... Uh... Yeah, he traded, but I was shocked, because this is the robot from the kitchen of my favorite retired ride, which is called Horizons, where you can smell the oranges. And that was such a great ride. That's where Test Track to, Test Track is now. No, not Test Track. It's where Spaceship Earth is now. I mean, not Spaceship Earth. It's where um, Mission to Mars is. Yes. Dead Man Tell Dead Men Tell No Tales. Was this a trader too? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And my husband loves this ride. Him and one of my daughters. It's their favorite. Um, and then this is Figment, and we actually really like that ride. It's old, it's outdated, but it's a good time. Okay, and then these are some that we buy. The ones that we buy, we don't even take with us. We get one, usually that's our favorite ride from the trip, and a yearly pin, the year. This is having such a hard time focusing. It's like not even. Like, I don't. Okay. Actually, our collection is pretty much mixed together. So, my husband got this one, Fantasmic. That's his favorite show. Um, our collections really are pretty mixed together because these are some of mine down here, and this one is. Uh, the shroom from Fantasmic. I mean, Fantasia. It was so cute. And then these are some of his. Yeah. Okay. That's the Balrog at the end, or the demon, whatever you want to consider him. Okay, yeah, those yeah. are both of those. And then, I don't really collect the pins. I just buy... I just buy a pin that I like usually, or a couple pins each trip and send him on a mission. I love these with the princess eyes. These are really hard to find. These are the three that he's found me so far. So hopefully our next trip, we'll get some more of those. Flounder, Sebastian. This is a really cute one, Mr. Potato Head. Wally, -E, which I love that movie. This was a really, really cute Alice. And we got Wendy. This, actually, a friend gave us. I think that there's a whole series of these. I wonder how many. It's, uh, some of them say two of four. Okay, so this comes in a series of four, but we have one. And then I like the fruit. I had him on this mission. <laughs> the tomato, the watermelon, the cherries. And the pineapple and the strawberries. And you, were these pretty easy to find? I know it took two so, trips to get this many. I don't know if this is the complete set, actually. No, because it doesn't say. This is three of five. There might be two different sets. No, I think. Does it say 2008? Because these are, it says 2008 on this. Yeah. 2008? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we have the whole set then. So that set's complete. These are my husband's, and you got these on trade too, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Those were, yeah, but totally separate yeah. occasions, right? Yeah, yeah, so that was a great find. So cute. This, the silhouettes. the silhouettes took two trips. And is this the whole? I think there's yeah. one. Oh, it is the whole? Well, there's two different kinds. I don't think Mickey belongs in this set. But it's all of the, I think I'm missing Christopher Robin, actually, now that I think about it. I love this set. So that was the other one that I had him do. And then the... the that is not complete, no. That's a big set. Yeah, this is a really large set. Were these pretty easy to find? No. Some of them. 
the bowling yeah, pin villain ten. villains. Okay, so that's. So you have the whole set then? Oh, you do? Okay. So. Sets that we have completed, unless we just want to move on, we usually keep them. We like to do the sets. Vinylmations. We love the Vinylmations. We only had these two. We loved it when we got this one, the Genie. The Genie was really hard to find the last time that we were there. I think anything Genie is kind of hard to find. Yeah. Um, and then these are my husband's, the Star Wars. Did we actually buy this one? Mm -mm. We didn't? We traded for this one? No. Oh, that was a gift. That was a gift. That was a gift. Yes, we did. Um, the Vinylmation... Yoda, we did trade for, though. Yeah, we bought that. Yeah, we bought this one. There's a really, really nice uh, pin store in downtown Disney. It's like that round building. Um, yeah, it's just a pin trader post. Pin trader post, yes. These, the the hitchhikers from Haunted Mansion, these were traders. We He found these on trade, and he loves them. How many more are in this collection? Do you That's know? It. Just the three. Just the three. Yep. Yeah. So this it was. Took me all week. It took him eight days to find all three, and I mean, it was he was on a mission. Piglet, because Piglet's the cutest thing ever. And so I don't know how many in the, are in these collect They're in this two collection, different two different collections, but so cute. Um, this was a trade in Frank and Weenie, and like we are big street guy from Main Street on Main on the workers at Hollywood Studios or no, no, Magic at Kingdom. Magic Kingdom, he was cleaning the street, and I oh, a street clean. His pins and just happened to yeah, ask everybody to see their pins because you never know. We are big Tim Burton fans, and this. This is a really cool pin anyway. I bought this one. This was one of the collectible ones that I got at the pin trader. No, is that what it's called? One. We got that actually at the uh, circus tent. And the, uh... No, I got this. It, it, it was behind the glass. You had to ask them to open it at that round in downtown Disney. That's where I got it. Because I got myself one and I got my friend one. No, they haven't, they haven't and it is... It is really pretty, and it is so sweet, and I had to have this. Let me see. There's, there's five. This is five of eight. Is it eight or six? Of eight. There's eight of these, but it's the double pin back, but I wouldn't trade that. This I got for my husband because he's a maniac. And he loves it. This is from the 2015. We always get these spinners. So these are the years that we've gone. And then this is our daughters. Now, I have to move this stool over. Okay. One of our daughters is a really huge Tim Burton fan and loves Nightmare Before Christmas and Jack Skellington. And did we start with this t-shirt, Brian? Um, I think we got the t-shirt for Tinkerbell first. Tinkerbell. And then we went on a mission to complete the set. That's usually what we do. If we find a pin that, you know, we really like, then it, that will be the mission, to find the set for it, to complete the set. And um, anyway, it's a really, really cute set. The Genie was a great find. Let me see how many. That's a big set. It doesn't say... It doesn't say how many are in the set. I had to look it up. Yeah, we had to look. Ten to fifteen of them. Well, this is a really big set. So the next time we go, we'll be looking for more of these. 
And you have to stay really organized with your pins when you have them in the parks to trade. And I would not even, if you're wearing a lanyard and you have pins that are important to you, you probably know about the pin lockbacks. I would definitely recommend that because these fall off. Fall off. And if you are tr a trader, use the trading books. That's what my husband uses. Trading books or keep them in a Ziploc and pocket them? Yeah, they kind of, they could get scratched up if you do that, but it's better than losing them. Um, and then these are also my daughter. She loves Sleeping Beauty. She loves Snow White. And that so... Was given to her. The Snow White one, remember? This was given to her because she was dressed up as Snow White. It was her first day. If you are on your first trip... And you wear your body, you wear your button that says first trip, you will get what they call um, magical moments. And the girls had several of them. The cast members are so awesome there. Anyway, we traded for this. This is Aurora. This was one that we bought. That was her character pin. Yeah, that was her character pin of her favorite character. All of the emotions. It's a really cool pin. And then this was her favorite ride. You could pick your favorite ride. Pin, Pirates of the Caribbean. That's what she calls it, the Caribbean. And one for an initial. And then more Jack. Zero. Zero. And that's the complete set there, the candy corn. And then this was the set that we completed. So you were successful with her. Tim Burton sets. Mm -hmm. um, so that was a really cool set to complete. We probably won't be getting rid of that anytime soon. This is a special year to us. This is a really cool set that we started collecting. We, yeah, like the last day. So we're going to concentrate on this the next time that we go. But those are the playing card sets. That's really, really cool. Um, this we bought. Our oldest daughter dressed up as um, Ariel when she went to the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. And um, so we got that to commemorate that. This was also a pin that she bought. Yeah, this is this is one of our daughter's sets. She dressed up and we bought that. She bought this. We gave them both some spending money before we left for things like this. I think she got this at, um, before they tore the hat down at um, Hollywood. Hollywood Studios, there were there was um, a pin uh, store there. She I think she got that there. This was her favorite ride, um, the Soarin'. So this moves. And that is a really cool ride. And her favorite's Tinkerbell, thus. So. And then also her favorite ride this last time, yeah, it was uh, Mission to Mars. So she got this pin. And it moves. And it's very cool. And we would not trade that. And then these are some of her sets. Now, she's been all over the place. The girl is a trader. Now, she doesn't really trade on sets, though. She trades by character. Um, I don't know if she's moving on from that or not. I know this was last time. She, Tinkerbell, 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 did not matter, Tinkerbell. This, these are actually, did, did she start this set? I really like this set. I would like to complete this set. Um, these she traded for the Zoom Zooms, and they were very new. And uh, that those were really cool finds. We got a year pin. She got a year pin with her favorite, which is Tinkerbell that year. And Tinkerbell. And Tinkerbell, because it's Tinkerbell. We have a Tinkerbell. This is an old one. This is from Disneyland, and it is really cool. A no, I think this was a gift from Diana. She did? No, this is Disneyland. I know. It was somebody who traded it there. Hmm. Like off of an individual? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, she traded with an individual. This is an old... I wonder if it says the year on it. Oh. 
I can't read it. I think it says 2005. Anyway, it's like a retro designed Disneyland pen, which was really cool. My sister went to Disneyland and she got her this pen, which is beautiful with Tinkerbell because that's our favorite. And then we got this one. This was a gift. This is an older one. This is Shere Khan. Very cool. And then she started collecting with these. So I think she is starting a collection. It's the cell phones, the princess cell phones. So I don't know if she's going to want to trade these. Usually before we go back on a trip, we'll look over our entire board and see if there's anything that we would just want to move on from. Um, this is one of our daughter's favorite rides and she actually had a really cool experience her and my husband got to ride this after the ride was closed and first row completely by themselves empty roller coaster if you want to hear that story thumbs up and we'll include it so this comes with a removable guitar pick and this was very much her favorite ride. It, just the whole experience of it. So she had to get a pin of that. Everest is her favorite ride, though. And she is all about the Everest. She traded for this. She actually traded for this, which is really cool. It's one of the old Fast Pass pins. Um, and then this one, which moves. But she bought this one. I think this last trip, she bought that one. For her favorite ride this monsters inc she loved they all love that monsters inc uh laugh floor mm -hmm. yeah laugh floor she traded for that she had such a good experience she didn't want to trade that because it was she wanted to keep that to hold on to classic mickey she got this to commemorate her 2013 year with cinderella it's very pretty 2015 um, we actually traded for that one but it was a year that we were there so uh, when my sister went to Disneyland she got this one for her and I love it I love that retro design classic design of it she actually got these two on trade the Anna and Elsa and that is when it was like chaos they were just um, had closed um, no, Malstorm. Mal oh, Malstorm. Yeah, Malstrom. Malstorm. Um, and we're changing it over. It was like Frozen Mania, and she found these two on trade, and that was pretty amazing. They both dressed up, actually, as Ariel the first year that we went to, um, when we went to the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. So she bought this one, and I think she traded for this one, but this is the one that she bought. This is the collection that she just, well, actually, I think that she started this the first year, but these are really hard to find. Well, it's hard, I should say, it's hard to not find repeats. Um, we have the Jasmine, the Rapunzel, and the Ariel. Um, but this girl's all about the collection. She's got to find the whole collection. So we've got, she completed this collection with all of the characters sleeping. The princesses with the butterfly. I don't, was this just four? I think she did, com I think that is the whole set. And then this. Oh, the flowers have completed. Let me move these. Yeah, she's missing more. Um, four or five. We have these really cute uh, keychains. Let me move these. Oh, okay. So there's five of these. So she has one more that she needs to collect of that. And we'll look those up the next time we go on the trip and we write down, like, what we need left of a set so that we can keep my husband focused. <laughs> um, the flower set is complete, though. So Snow White, Ariel... Um, Aurora, Belle, Tiana, Cinderella, that's a cute set. And then she worked hard to find all of these days of the week with Pluto. Very cute, so she completed those. So we'll see 
if she wants to trade any of those around next time we go. What we do is we have, um, I'll show you, I keep it behind here. These are the ones that we've already gone through that we know we're going to trade next time we go. And we have, you know, a whole cup of them. And so when we, we have this many that we could potentially, you know, I don't know how many are in here, but that we could trade for the next time that we're, we're there. Yeah, close to 40. Did you know that the genie was in here? Was this? I don't know. We'll have to look through this again. Anyway, um, every year we get the frame that comes with the year. 2013 was awesome. Everything was themed um, like Fantasia, Mickey. It was the year of magic. It was like Lucky 13. It was so cool. Yeah, Believe in Magic. That was the theme. And it was really neat. And it was really neat that they did that actually before they tore the hat down. But another wishing star. 2015, on the other hand, I don't know. I mean, I could show you the mugs even because we get the yearly like ensemble. But I mean, it's cute that it, the the vinyl mations, the happy like pirate Donald, but it was kind of a flop. Would you say? Did you think so? It just wasn't very themed. I didn't get what the theme was. Very themed. I mean, we still had a lot of fun. Well, yeah, we had a lot of fun, but I mean, the the cup was just basically like this sort of yeah, sort of a thing. Part was kind of it. It wasn't really a theme. Um, whereas 2013, I mean, it's like there's an obvious the 2013 cup or mug. The whole thing was very cohesive. Anyway, down here, these are R2-D2s that you can customize, make. How many pieces do they come in? You, you pick the hat. You pick the color of the body, the color of the legs. You pick the top. You pick the hat. <clears throat> and that's pretty much it. Okay. They're mm -hmm. fun. You can do, like, I think they're two for nine bucks or something. Okay, so, like, two for nine bucks. They roll... They, made, they had fun customizing these. These are at the gift shop at the end of Star Tours. So that's where they made those. For the Vinylmations, I had to get this. Now, I heard that they were, like, discontinuing Duffy. But are they discontinuing Duffy? I don't know. I had to get this just in case because it's adorable. And... The whole Duffy thing is, the reason why I like Duffy is because it brings back, when I was little and we used to go to Disney World, it wasn't, I mean, obviously the Cinderella's castle, but there wasn't a lot of princess stuff. It was characters. It was Mickey and Minnie and Donald and, um, uh, you know, Goofy and all of that. And I thought Duffy brought back, like, the story of... Mickey and Minnie more because it's this full, well, you know, if you know about Duffy, you know what the story is about. But I thought it was cute just because it brought attention back to Mickey and Minnie. Um, so anyway, I had to get that. So with the Vinylmations, we got these for the girls. They smell frozen lemonade and grape soda. We got these at our, at the mall at our, um, at our uh, at the Disney store at the mall, I think that these were mysteries. I think most of these, I think, I think most of these are mysteries. So anyway, these were when we told them that we were going on the trip for Christmas, the year that we went in 2013. Um, these were in their stockings. This was a mystery, and it's from the show. Brian, what is the show? Gravity Falls, and they love this show. Doesn't this go with Gravity Falls, too? Yes. 
Yes, so these were the mysteries that they got, and they actually got these at the store, the pin trading store at Downtown Disney, pretty sure. Um, we got these, it, these were part of that robot, whoops, robot collection. Let's see if it says, yeah, robot series. Um, we just got these at the store. Whenever we're at the, uh, whenever we're at the mall, we usually just pick up a box and the cool thing, too, is that they always have behind the counter if you open it at the store, right, when you buy it. Because if you don't like what you have and they have usually a set of three behind the counter that you can trade what you just bought for. So if you see one that's really cool behind the counter, open what you bought right away and trade for it. My favorite. I love this. This was from the Star Wars collection. We actually only got one from that collection. So that was kind of unfortunate. Uh, Big Hero 6. These are from, they're actually Disneyland, but I love them so much. My husband got these for me for Christmas. We all, we usually put them in the stockings, but, um, he put those in the stockings. I didn't. 2012, I think. Mowgli. I love Jungle Book. Old Hag. This is actually a really cool vinylmation. I don't know. I really like it. Gaston. Had to get this. This was a mystery, but worked out great. She's awful, and I love it. This was from, this is Big Hero 6 too. I should organize these better all together, but the kids get in here. Um, this was actually the rarest one of this Frozen collection, and my daughter got it, and the hat, comes off, the little grass skirt comes off of Olaf. It is really cute, so that was a fun little mystery. This is from the Frozen collection as well, and we have two more. Anna, Krista. This I got from my husband, the firefighter one, and it came with this little Dalmatian keychain from the Muppets. Oh, love this one. It's probably my favorite. And we could not believe it when she opened the box. And there was Kermy. Oh my gosh. So. And then, we got this pin when we were there. They gave that to us, where my daughter's one. And then, I got this sent in a really sweet package from my friend on Instagram, and I love it. I love, love, love this ride. I have a Carousel of Progress shirt. I've loved it since I was little. It hasn't changed one bit. It's so... Disney, and I love this pen. So, thank you. It's right there in front. Anyway, this is the whole collection, if it'll focus. It's just how we display it now. Things change. You know, I don't know if we'll have this. Oh, this shirt, by the way. This is a theme park shirt. This is from uh, Magic Kingdom. And it has Fantasyland, Main Street, Tomorrowland, Frontierland, Liberty Square. I love these because they don't sell these anywhere but in the parks. And I got this one actually at the Emporium, which is that first large store on the left when you're first at Main Street. But they also sell this, I think, at the shop um, 
that and I love the shop actually that's at the uh no, oh, I love that shop at Animal Kingdom. That is a really good shop because they have things that are unlike, I mean, things I haven't seen in any of the parks or downtown Disney or, but, and not even just park specific. Oh, but, large shop off Main Street. And no, I'm talking to, the, what? The Magic Kingdom shop? No, no, because I said I got this at the Emporium, but um, the shop that's at the end of the uh, Splash Mountain ride. <laughs> anyway thanks for watching let us know if you want to see more